Well, they say anything goes with a fringe festival, and that's exactly what organizers had in mind when they came up with this idea. And here's how it works. The Fringe Fest board acts as the facilitator. Early on, it sent out a call to artists, groups, producers to come up with their own ideas. The response, they say, was overwhelming. There will be over 100 different shows to sample. Tonight, a look at how one local college is getting into the Fringe. Imagine this cardboard box is a building. We're using a single projector to project multiple images on an object or to distort an image so that it fits on the surface of an object. Right now, RIT professor Marla Schweppe may be using a box, but during the Rochester Fringe Fest, she and her students will use video mapping software for some public art, projecting images on the side of a building. You can make it look like if you project on the outside of the building, for example, um, like somebody's inside the window moving, but they're not really. Professor Schweppe teaches 3D graphics and animation at RIT. I stopped by her projection studio so she could show me how this will work. Using a laptop and a projector, they plan to put on quite the show. First on the exterior of Christ Church and then inside, projecting images on the magnificently restored 1790 Christ Church organ and on dancers in a collaborative effort with the Eastman School of Music and Future Point Dance. And it's all improvised, so each show will be different. Schweppe says this is a chance to show off some of the fun stuff they do in class. And it's an opportunity for students to get some exposure and have people see the work they're doing. RIT is one of six area colleges' higher education partners supporting the Fringe Fest. If you're surprised to see a school known for its technology, science, and business jump on board, RIT's president, Bill Dessler, says you shouldn't be. Yeah, it couldn't be a better match, in my opinion, basically. We're so strong in the, in the creative arts of various kinds. We have increasing performing arts programs here. So, so we, obviously, we were very enthusiastic when the idea was presented. I had an idea for Dessler. This is a fringe fest, and he is known for his extensive banjo collection. He plays the banjo, too. Would he consider performing? You know, the great thing about being my age is I get to choose when I embarrass myself in public. So I think probably the answer to that is no. Well, RIT is presenting more than 20 of the 120 performances at the festival. Other fringe partners include the U of R, the College at Brockport, SUNY Geneseo, MCC, and Nazareth. And to see everything that the fringe has to offer, we have a link on our website, WHEC.com. I'm pretty sure Bill Dessler wouldn't embarrass himself. No, either. he's pretty good. He's pretty good. That's going to be great. Well,